Andrew Gibson, head of UK equities at Faraday Research. I'll just ask you that. Give us a broad brush of what you like. We're looking mainly at secular growth stories, stocks that can grow no matter what's happening with the economic backdrop. The economic backdrop is weak. Everyone knows that. But if you look around, there are companies that are growing well despite this. Uh, also, companies that have uh, the ability for self-help, uh, turnaround stories, so they're not reliant on top-line growth. They can drive earnings in other ways. We're getting the GDP figures out at 9.30. Linda was just talking about that. Yep. Are you one of these people who says, you know what, really, Plan B is what's needed in this British economy? Well, I think realistically everyone knows UK GDP growth isn't going to be flash. We're, we're barely uh, staying above recession levels. Uh, but that's really a technical thing. The, the Bank of England knew that. That's why they launched quantitative easing. They, they were aware that uh, growth is, is fading away. Uh, so that's about all they can do on that front. Really. So let's take a look at some of the details of the companies that you like briefly. Yep. One of them, DDD, right? Yep. Tell me about it. They basically make chips that convert 2D images into 3D images. Uh, if you remember, Avatar came out in 2009 and, and launched a sort of 3D uh, renaissance. Uh, everyone got into 3D again. But the real story is that it's going to move into TVs, laptops, tablets, and mobile phones. And that's really quite, you see the graph there, you're on here today, 72% up. You also like another technology uh, stock, Kinetic Group, science yeah. and technology research company. Yeah, that's a self-help story. Uh, they've got a new CEO in there, he's cut costs, he's halved the debt, uh, and he's reinstated the dividend, all very shareholder friendly things. Uh, earnings are growing despite fairly modest top line growth. And these are one year charts, not year to date, let me just uh, make that clear. When you're looking at companies to invest in, what are you actually looking at? What is key for you in these difficult economic times? I guess dividends play a more important role than they perhaps did a yes year or no. two ago. Uh, uh, dividends is one thing uh, for, for the blue chips, but a catalyst really, something that can drive the share price that's not perhaps uh, just, just reliant on economic growth. Okay, Andrew, stay with us just for a moment because I just want to update you on another highly significant economic number of the day. It is, of course, the uh, official Chinese manufacturing PMI and the result, well, it was the slowest growth in almost three years. This is the very first official indication of the strength of China's economy last month. It is now rather dangerously close to the 50 mark, the figure that separates growth from contraction. So I know you've got a lot of exposure to China, Andrew. Does this, does this change your mind at all, or is this really what's expected? Well, I think China's a funny one. Uh, you know, if you go back last year, we're worried about it growing too fast. Everyone's worried about overheating. Now it's slowing down. We're worried about it slowing down. So it's, it, it's in a situation where it can't win. Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, China's still a long-term growth story. Uh, everyone knows that story, the reasons why. Uh, and no, we're still confident. Uh, admittedly, China was, you know, a 2010 story in investors' minds, but 2011 has presented a lot of cheap stocks. Yeah, and including an Asian company, Citrix, Asia Citrus Holdings, yep. which you like very much. Yep, what absolutely. is it about it? They basically make uh, orange juice for the Chinese consumer. It's a play on the Chinese consumer. Uh, the orange juice market there is growing 31% a year. Asian Citrus is the market leader. They have where, where are they listed? They're listed in London. Yep. Yep. They, they, they uh, have 3% of the market, so it's a very fragmented market. And, uh, you know, they've got another 2 million orange trees coming on, on uh, uh, production in the next two years. It's a real growth story. And as far as earnings con uh, concerned that you've seen coming out so far, what's your general feeling about how corporate Britain, corporate Europe, corporate Asia is doing. Have you perhaps been briefly surprised, disappointed in some of those earnings? I think it's the only thing holding the stock market up. I think part of the rally that happened in October was because the earnings season's gone, gone down well with investors. Uh, Europe clearly is holding the market back, but uh, we had quite a significant rally. And, and that's because, you know, you look at the S&P 500, 70% of companies beat estimates. Exactly. Andrew Gibson from Faraday Research. Fascinating stuff. Thanks very much indeed for no joining problem. us today.